Hi guys, how's it in the name of Christ? It's your girl Cran K. Garabo, whatever. Look, I don't intend to be here very long. My life is really sad, everything is hard, and um, I'm always hurting, but whatever. Uh, I just want to show you my hair. I feel like it's a grand reveal every single time when I make a decision to change up my hair. Do you? I'm feeling great. Uh, caveats, uh, I'm wearing makeup using an application. Or maybe because I'm doing my hair, let me just do everything raw. No makeup, just leave the skin as it is, see it as it is. Today was an, 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 a strange day, so <clears throat> in terms of how I'm feeling... <clears throat> <coughs> see that? <coughs> There's no cough in me, right? But in the morning, I wake up with like a hot knock cough. Yes, look at my big forehead. I should start singing, uh -huh. How about a round of applause? Yeah, stand in ovation like Rihanna. Cause some dude done dissed me for having East Poem. And I'm like, uh, you look so good, so dumb right now. Standing outside my house, trying to apologize. You're so ugly when you cry, please. Just cut it out. Cause like Rihanna. I'm pretty with a big forehead, just take it. Okay, don't tell me you're sorry cause you're not. And baby, when I know you're only sorry you got caught. Well, that's what we should be saying. Uh, now that you've seen my, book, my big forehead, let's keep quiet, all right? Uh, so I'm gonna do my hair because at this point, I just feel as if though, uh, let me just get this hair out of the way so that it doesn't lock in this establishment since I'm sitting around trying to recover so this morning every morning when I wake up my cough <laughs> it's gone right do you agree like I'm totally healed <laughs> it's gone but this morning when I woke up I was coughing like a monster monster I'm getting fat because I'm sitting around for like two weeks yonke not uh, exercising I wake up this morning, I'm coughing out the nonsense in my stomach, not my stomach, my uh, my chest, because some of these coughs will last a minute. So I know that after coughing it out, I'm not going to be sounding nasty. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> this is how I'm sounding, like I'm good, you all know that, like I'm good. Anyway, uh, finally, after I recover, like I'm healed, I'm healed guys, I just need to cough out the rest of whatever's going on inside me. Because I was coughing out that nonsense this morning in the bathroom while I was brushing my teeth. My mom, then, now only, she's like, <laughs> maybe she should go to a doctor. I'm like, yes, woman, you've been listening to me cough. And there was a time when it was real dire. There was a time when I did need to go to a doctor. But now I'm self-healed. And on top of that, that, I'm not even on meds anymore. I'm not taking medication anymore. You know, like, because I'm out of, like, flu meds. I'm out of, uh, what do they call, cough syrup and all that jazz. I I'm I'm just like, it's just a matter of time. Mm. Uh, uh, but anyway, she then makes a decision, Nuguti. She will give me money to go see a doctor. She calls the Medicross. Uh, they give her a quote telling her that uh, 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 coming in for just a consultation with nothing else is 600 bucks. And then she's like, I'll, I'll put that 600 bucks in your account. And then I'm like, please put in 670 so that I can have petrol in my car. Or you can help me, let me use your car because it's quite fine. I don't have petrol. She's like, no, no, no. You use your car. Use my car. You can use my car. My mom doesn't even like it when I use her car. But just so she doesn't have to give me extra money. She's like, use my car. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. 70 rand. Really? Okay. Uh, she then is like, the prescription and everything. We'll see what we do with it. Just go and get antibiotics. Fine. So I go to the doctor. Uh, no, first I'm like, let me just get a cough syrup to finish off what I started. Because I'm, I'm done. I'm cured. I'm healed. I even try to cough to let her know that I'm done. Uh, type establishment thing and she's like no go see a doctor go see a doctor i'm like uh okay fine so i go to the doctor and i'm like oh really this is gonna take me out of my way this is my hair you guys look at how nasty this is looking i washed it on the weekend i told you guys that i washed my hair in my plaits i always do that don't know how many months it's been in here or weeks uh that's more like months probably two uh and uh I, I'm, I'm scared that it's gonna lock all up in my grill like lock i did moisturize it on the day that i washed it so because i don't want my hair locking i should actually probably moisturize first or add some kind of moisture to manipulate my hair so that nothing nasty happens anyway i go to the doctor 
Right. Uh, before we even keep it, continue with that conversation, because I'm ultimately going to get to the point of why I even believe the Lord charged me, my mom, to basically like why the cough that was coming out this morning sounded so disgusting and so heavy that my mom would like basically snap out of whatever it is was was making her leave me cough like that. I will. I'm about to get to the miracle of it all, the Romans 8:28, because frankly, I'm healed. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> So whatever was, was with that hard knock old geriatric cough in the bathroom in the morning, it was just what happens at the very end part of a flu. So this three in one hair moisturizer for dry hair, whatever. I found this in my mom's stash. She must not find out because I don't want to use my own stuff because I'm spilling it for mixing it with my ingredient stuff. Yeah, guys. Uh, so I go then to the mini cross. I, I even wanted to go to, to enter care. Mm, don't come on me. I wanted to go to the Intercare, which is the closest medical center to here because I thought that, you know, goodness, it can't be that expensive to just go in for a consultation only. You know what I mean? Can't be that deep, can't be that extreme. And they were more expensive by 65 rands. And I was so upset because for me it was like, it's just 65 rands. Why in the world do I have to drive all the way across town to Medicross? You know what I mean? But anyway, I don't have that extra 65 bucks because remember, she gave me exactly the amount of money uh, with 50 bucks on top. So yeah, she could have just let me use my car. But anyway, whatever. It's all right, I don't got to use my car. If anything, I don't prefer to use it because it needs a, a, a tire, a new tire. I'm using a biscuit tire right now on it. Guys, look at my hair, yo. Um, oh, about a round of applause. I'm 39. Black, like no man, not even a single gray. Y'all needs to come and take some hints from a sister. Jet black, my hair's never been this black in my life. So please come take some tips from a sister. Come take some tips, cause I'm using stuff, you know. Then you Greek. Anyway, let's another story for another day. Let's check how much this thing is growing. Whatever. Let's just carry on talking. While we're talking, so grateful for my camera, you guys stand because last time i was doing all of these things uh with like a wobbly stand oh no man my hair's knotted here at the bottom that's what i was afraid of that's what i was afraid of i don't want to break the 4c anywho remember 4c i foresee uh -huh, except i don't whatever what's up so here's a needle um just showing it to you we don't want you seeing me going to fetch the needle, which was back there. Because I'm fun. I don't want you guys to see the background. I'm sick and tired of you seeing the background. Anyway, this needle is to try and uh, untangle or detangle my hair or whatever. Yeah, so uh, I go, you know, and I'm driving. One of my old CDs is in my mom's CD player. And I'm like nostalgic on some, ooh, you know, it's Jamie Callum. I'm sorry to say I didn't know your name The fact that I was in this last six hours are in You, yeah, The Pursuit Jamie Callum's The Pursuit is all up in the CD player So I'm like on some Ooh, one of these days, one of those nights Doom, doo -doo 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 -doo, Just one of those crazy nights On top of the moon And now and then brings Anyway, y'all so capota Moving on I'm driving there and I'm all nostalgic and I'm also all sad on some point why don't I have a life? Why is this me? Last night I went to bed so sad because there is this like couple that I like watching on YouTube uh, it's it's a mixed race couple black woman and the guy looks like he could be uh, Spanish or something right and she speaks French he does not know how to speak Spanish because you know he was raised in the US not learning his mother tongue so disappointing whatever but i like i like them but if you, uh, but i don't like watching such such couple such channels a lot i don't like watching people like that a lot all right you see i let my hair lock now cuz i stayed in this state for too long now eh anyway whatever uh beans and bananas i'm i'm out here I, after watching that couple yesterday and pretty much like they've got a new baby really cute uh and yeah that's not the only couple there's also another black couple Whose who's content I also like watching Two black couples whose content I also like watching They also have The one couple has a new one baby And the other couple has quite a few 
okay uh, all married couples and they're just funny so that's why i watch them but then i tend to get very sad when i watch them because uh I, i've lost everything all right and i don't have children and i wanted them very heavily from the time i was in my early 20s i already knew that i wanted lots and lots of children and i haven't had not even one and i'm 39 okay uh yeah and the reason why i'm in this position is because my friends and f some of my family members made a decision that i'm not gonna be happy in romance happy in love some went all the way even out of their way to make sure that i like i don't get married at all there are others that didn't want me married at all others however wanted me married badly like you know just settling uh type thing uh friends did this to me family members did this to me my ex-boyfriend i messed up with my romantic prospects and witchcraft i don't believe is operating in my life because i'm a christian but i can't help but be disillusioned at god and wonder why did you take away my biggest and strongest desires and i was even talking about this yesterday okay uh why am i not a mom why do i get why must i watch every 39 40 year old deal with children that are almost teenagers because usually when people get to their 40s their kids are teens okay like there are some 45 year olds that have got like matric student kids uh because they had that child when they were 25 26 and now their kids are like 18 19 you know what i mean and they are about to go to university and i am nowhere near having even a, a toddler i'm nowhere near even having a preschooler like i nowhere near because like i'm not even married you know nothing's going on and i can't just fall pregnant the way that women in the world allow themselves to just fall pregnant you realize your biological clock is ticking and you're just like i'm gonna go have a baby uh okay where's the husband uh where is the the, the basically the allowance by god where, where where where's protocol yeah i can't just ditch protocol because i want to fall pregnant i know of two celebrities in this country that ditched protocol once the biological clock was ticking and they were like it doesn't matter i don't have to be married and still to this day nobody's really sure who their baby daddies are and for me it's like both women very beautiful both of them ought to have been married or uh, like very young very early all have been snatched off the shelf fast and yet they got to my age even after my age they both had their first children in their 40s their only kids that they have right now they had both those ch those children they were they were conceived like pretty much with geriatric wombs okay in a rush and nobody knows who the baby daddies are however there is speculation and with the one celebrity the speculation is a married man a married tycoon and for me when you look at her and her glory and how everybody just used to absolutely love this woman want her when i was a teenager all my peers were crushing on her heavy they, they were they it was their celebrity crush she'd been in the entertainment industry pretty much all her life celebrity crush both of them like flaming beauties okay uh both of them what being what appears to be viable candidates i absolutely love this hair tie because it does not snag on my hair y'all um yeah when you're dealing with all of this product build up there's a way around it also my hair didn't lock good lovely anyway whatever yeah and these two celebrities god always flashes them in my understanding especially the one that is speculated to have had a baby with a tycoon in the country a very wealthy man that is married with children and like was well respected as a human being nobody would have ever thought he'd ever do this to his wife but like really the rumors are spreading uh and so far it's speculation it is suspicion nothing confirmed that that happened but it's rumored might be true but what is definitely accurate is that don't nobody know who her baby daddy is uh and and whoever it is the the the, the people in the in the country are speculating based on the baby's features and her uh dalliances or her uh ex or her encounters with him in the past at awards shows and whatnot yeah being cited with him essentially is what caused south africans to speculate Tanaga abc it belongs to this particular um very wealthy man okay yeah now the lord keeps on showing me those two women to basically tell me what people hope is gonna eventually happen with me that just like both of them both these women oh come on just like both these women 
that I am going to get to a point where I've got a geriatric womb, I'm extremely broody, I've been waiting to get married, it did not quite happen, but I gotta have a child and I don't wanna regret not ever using my precious eggs and transferring my genetics, my genetic material into these uh, eggs, uh, into these like into the world uh, you know having somebody that is made in my image out here and so just kind of run rush to you know marry real far not marry but just have a baby like just very quickly have a baby with anyone that's prepared to offer me a baby and then i make uh, what i imagine to be a wise decision women in the world what they call wise worldly wisdom a wise decision to if at all i'm going to fall pregnant by someone that's not my husband it better be somebody that is going to be able to give me lots of child maintenance someone that's going to be an insurance policy somebody that is going to be basically a, a well a bit a rich dad to my kid so that should anything happen to me my kid will always be set i'm not gonna go and get a sperm donor at a clinic i am going to go and get a tycoon because i am beautiful i'm beautiful and i am uh, a celebrity and i am well sought after by men they they want me i've been popular all my life but you know biological clock is ticking and so too is the clock of my beauty ticking so uh how uh, desired by men i will be in five years is not the same as how desired by them i am right now so while i still have some juice on my clock because you know how women in their 30s 40s are still very beautiful while i still have um some juice on my physical beauty let me just hook a man that is going to be drowned by my physical beauty because i've got that gorgeous body and i've got that gorgeous face uh and just basically have a baby with him and then hold him hostage with that particular situation on some i'll keep quiet i won't tell anybody i won't even tell your wife just take real good care of me and my child and not that i can't take care of myself but at least i have made sure that i found semen in these streets that has got potential to be in and of itself really clever at school in and of itself do really well financially have a dad that is going to fund his business if he decides to start a business as a young man uh even though this dad i'm just the side piece the mistress the second whatever somebody that the wife doesn't even know about it's a whole secret nobody knows not even the wife that's all the hair that i'm shedding after how many months so guys whatever i'm doing whatever i'm doing okay let's just put that out there whatever it is that i am doing for my hair up tops over here is uh, is working you know, I'm just cooler than just sitting. A uh, little bit of an issue with uh, matting or locking, but putting a whole bunch of moisture on it helps. Not too much, however. Not too much. Not too much. You can't avoid hair breakage entirely. Anyway, yeah. So making a decision to just find some moneyed man in the street that is going to be my baby daddy because I'm 39, because I'm 40, because I'm 41, and I'm scared of entering into menopause without children. And so I just go mean again, meet her, fall pregnant, and then not care that there's no baby daddy around because apparently, allegedly, my, my uh, bus has left. Because <laughs> apparently, allegedly, my bus for being married has left. My bus of having children is soon gonna leave but definitely is the bus of a doting husband and a doting <clears throat> proposal uh, a wonderful wedding a wonderful uh marriage that has left so now i just gotta go and at least salvage what is still here since i am still getting my monthly period ew did that fall on my lip since i am still getting my monthly period uh let me just quickly like real fast like fertilize these eggs uh so that at least i have something to write home about to show so that i also have a child to pick up at school so that i also have somebody made in my image walking these streets so that i can be like whoo hi at least not all is lost whoo at least like papa shoo like removing sweat off the big forehead at least not all is lost let me not waste my genes because now i want to see how well a child in my image can do at school and in life generally i want to see if there's going to be a me volume 2.0 and i'm going to teach it better lessons and sing it rockabye baby rockabye i'm gonna love you yeah even though mama did not quite get the the, the loving life the loving husband the loving whatnot uh, women who have made such decisions as these i don't know like god has literally given me an entire ministry 
to forewarn young women to not allow themselves to end up like women like these because as much as you might want to sing rock a pie baby rock a pie i'm gonna love you being a baby mama because you've always wanted a baby uh, but ain't no baby daddy in sight or it's a secret clandestine affair nobody even knows like the wife of this man does not know that there is a child he's taking care of in these streets that is his biologically um who told if ella and you've been paid hush money a uh, type set of thing but you've got a baby you tell yourself that you can love this baby it's going to be cute cuz you're broody now at the jealousy that comes inside a, a, a woman who does not have love from a man however has children is so extreme especially when she's got daughters that she can end up abusing her girl children when they start to look like her so you think that you're going to love your girl child or be doting over your son's girlfriend when he brings her home on some mommy i want to marry this girl you think you're going to be good but embittered women that were never loved properly by men they inevitably harass young women on the come up they in it literally it happens it inevitable they can't help themselves they can't help themselves they harass young women they abuse young women because they feel like that's the you the glory i used to have that's the beauty i used to have and so they scan them up and down they give girls a, 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 like a hard time so if they've got sons they become a monster in law to the young women that are going to come in their sons lives uh, and if they have the door they if they have daughters they become uh uh what is this a monster mom a monster they become a monster a monster long story a monster a mon a monster a monster mother and i can i know all about monster moms okay i've got my own testimony concerning a monster mom and guys you don't want to be a monster mom so at this point spare a child the experience of being a monster spare yourself the sorrow of being a monster or a monster in law because of the fact that it inevitably happens women that have got sorrow concerning romance where they were mistreated abused or disregarded ignored or side pieced mistressed where your son was the one who, where dad would only come and see on um, the 26th of december instead of on christmas day because he's got his own wife and children to be with on that day so you will always come second and you will always be se the secret you will always be a clandestine affair whenever there is a, a, a match at your child's school because your 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 baby daddy is a prolific man in the country that everybody recognizes he can't be at the child's soccer match he can't be at the child's graduation because if people see him they're going to take photos and be like why was this man at this thing who is he here for and then speculation will continue to drain the living daylights out of this particular uh, union so it's always going to be clandestine there's always going to be envelopes of money being sh like slid under tables and what have you uh to this baby mama to take care of this baby uh because we cannot for the life of us let anybody know what happened over here we cannot let anybody know what happened over here and at some point that money that you thought that your child needed right i should not have kept this hair in for this long that money that you um were confident that you would be content with at least you you had a baby daddy that was uh, somewhat of a mogul uh, um you know a tycoon that money that would inevitably always come in uh to your bank account every month because he would at least financially responsibly take care of this child and in so far as there's no cameras rolling or anybody seeing what's going on he will even be there for the child so in the privacy of the apartment in another country on holiday that's the only place and time that this man is free to be dad to this child and also uh uh what is this lover to this mom if at all the affair is still going on those things will eventually eat the a uh, woman alive they will eat her alive she will feel like she's not important enough and she will resent mar married women married women who are loved by their men married who were made um, women who were made honest women by their men uh ladies who were snatched off the shelf they will always make her feel like she ain't jack and so she will develop a passive aggression a bitterness she will resent other ladies her friends will not be able to be thoroughly or properly loved by her uh because she will always envy them she will always envy them she will low key rejoice when friends are getting divorced because she never got you know the opportunity to be married when especially when she's beautiful like when you are a beautiful woman and when on the come up everybody wanted you 
like every guy would have loved to be your boyfriend everybody would have loved to be seen with you at the matric dance and and so you were basically the most likely to marry well uh, type woman because you were that gorgeous girl and then you end up the one that's not married and also that's got a baby daddy but like don't nobody know who he is and this child even was born in your later years because you were you just wanted to have a, a child you wanted to use your eggs you wanted to use your eggs um you know you don't want to be a, a childless woman indefinitely and so you then uh ended up in this particular strange regard it's gonna eat you alive like people need to look at the future they need to gauge potential consequences potential ramifications uh because in the absence of gauging these potential ramifications you will be you will inevitably wreak havoc in the life of a generation alpha child you will inevitably wreak havoc in the life of umtanako and you will you might even cause a divorce a separation between your son your son and his girlfriends alongside maybe even his wife they, like when i was on quora there was this one question that a woman sent in and she was like my son married a woman without my permission what can i do to separate them what can i do to cause a divorce and some other irresponsible mother actually responded and gave an answer to help this woman end the marriage of her son if you don't want to be that monster in law that that, that monster in law as opposed to a mother in law and if you also don't want to be a monster to daughters an insufferable woman to girl children that you are going to want to control the life of because you were an unloved woman when it comes to even the baby daddy if you don't want that you will just wait on jesus and today i experienced so much sorrow so 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 much sorrow so much sorrow like be like i am beside myself with sorrow when i went to the doctor so some time ago um what is this my mom saw that my skin was doing this and my skin has never been like this ever in my life i have communicated to you guys that this is a new thing with me having skin like this okay so i'm basically just going through a lot and i don't have support i don't have love and i've got a cat that's always been being followed around by some other silly cat that won't leave my cat alone anyway whatever I had to wait for the cat fight outside and all right yeah cool look at my hair has it grown has it it should have if it hasn't what is it doing not growing i don't know where my hair was at last time but this is where it's at now <laughs> i am like i just i don't do length checks um i think it's grown there's no way it wouldn't have um you'd have to go and check out my last hair video to gauge the truth of that where are we with this fro of ours hopefully very far hopefully very 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 far yeah anyway uh so this skin condition my mom has been seeing it all right and i have asked her not i haven't asked her anything i don't ask my mom for anything okay that's my hair y'all like ooh, 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 ooh. it's growing it's growing let's praise jesus my hair is still growing like this and I'm even gonna use the point of my hair to the the, the 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 situation with my hair to make another relevant point over here. That my hair is still jet black and it's growing really beautifully. And I'm kind of hoping that as young as I look is how young I look even on the inside of my body biologically. Even though doctors are just looking at my biological age. Uh, uh, God, uh, my hope is that has basically as frozen as my life is also literally cryo preserved my eggs. But let us, uh, I mean, look at that hair growth, y'all. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, don't that sound like some rap song? Ooh, hey. And at this side, there was a time when I cut it by mistake. Like, you know, when you bring down braids and then you like cut your actual hair instead of uh the, the the fake hair the fiber i had done that to the side of my head and it's recovering baby it's recovering and on top of that like i don't appear to be struggling with split ends either it's more or less even next time i might cut split ends but my hair's growing evenly and it's growing beautifully we are happy happy with the glory of this hair aren't we we are so glad guys yeah mm, yeah Woo! oh killing it butchering it you know like i'm as this as in 
Anyway, whatever, let me put this hair back into the same state that it was in. And it'll be buried for another couple of months because that's what I do. Okay, cool beans and bananas. Ukulisa, this for Rosa of mine. Let me put the sealant on it because this is as mo as much moisture as it will see in a minute. Yeah, so go to a doctor, tap establishment thing. Oh, sorry, I was telling you about my mom and how it is that she I, I've never had skin like this before. And there was a time when she was feeling generous and she was like, uh, maybe you should go and see a, a doctor. This is hair food, right? I don't want to be putting relaxer on my hair. I would be so angry. So angry. So angry. Yeah, it's hair food. Okay, cool beans and bananas. It's definitely hair food. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah. And so she was feeling all gen generous. And that generosity made her be like, Hmm, I see your skin is gangster and it was after hurting me for something, all right? And so because she was feeling guilty and so generosity was spurred up in her She was like, I know of this one doctor that I went to it does at first She said that I should go and book a, an appointment with a dermatologist and she will see if she can't afford to pay for All that. Let me just move to the next part to tell this Yeah Dermatologist, okay, she was like, uh, let me bo book an appointment with the dermatologist and before I could book an appointment with the dermatologist type thing, she was like, no, change mind because we're trying to save money and everything is like falling apart and everything with you is cash and not medical aid. So uh, I have this one doctor that I go to that now that I am about to retire is going to be basically my go to guy who is cheaper and is going to enable me to get medication if I need it cheaper and what have you and I asked him if he would be prepared to do a diagnosis on somebody for skin even though he's not a dermatologist and he was like yeah bring her along totally I can do it I mean I guess I'm trying to show you the health of my hair my hair oh what look at this y'all like just look at it and on top of that like what at the bottom over here split ends for what for who nothing and for months i have not trimmed my hair so if anybody wants hints and tips about beautiful hair growth and super rich black proper watch my content one day i might tell you because right now i'm not in the mood of talking about what i put in this monstrosity but it's obviously so hey, that's working don't don't pull your hair too much cut up it's something that's obviously working just beautiful thick rich glorious hair okay enough about the hair grab this thing again this thing again put it right back uh same hairstyle like for months on end this is how i protective style my hair and then i put wigs on and you would know what those wigs are you would know what they look like because you've seen my wigs ah! anywho anyhow yeah i was telling you about the dermatologist setup uh, appointment uh, and then she was like, no, 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 rather go to the GP, like a regular doctor, uh, because dermatologists can be really, really expensive. Uh, and then we'll see what we take from there. What a, what a fish paste, etc., 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 etc. All right, very cool. Okay, cool. And then she was like, I'll make the call to that doctor and I will let you know when to go. Uh, but I will set up the appointment. Dololo, that was months ago. Dololo, she made a decision not to. So she's been basically just watching my skin go from bad to worse and not setting up that appointment. So I've just left it and tried to fix my skin on my own. Now, why is, why is she doing that? Momster momster the thing i was talking about where a woman messes up so much in romance and love like where the bible says guys there's a scripture in god's word that says the earth cannot be up under these four things and one of them is an unloved woman that gets married are you listening to me an unloved woman that gets married so uh when a woman is is not loved uh, or is mistreated by a man she, the world cannot bear up under her the earth cannot bear, bear up under her meaning that children are gonna have a really hard time being the child of that the, the children of that mom all right women need to be loved that's why jesus is always saying uh love women as christ loved the church men love your wives men love your wives like women need love and when they're not loved, especially by my, my men, in a romantic capacity, they can become monsters. And uh, while uh, oh, the, the, the celebrity in the country, for instance, the, the, the one that I'm talking about, while she never got married, just the fact that she is the mistress 
of a tycoon or at least it is speculated and she, she the, the situation is under wraps it is clandestine it is secretive and she cannot uh tell even though she's a celebrity who is your baby daddy like who is the lucky man you know how they like to use the word lucky who's the lucky man that has you know put a, a bump a baby in your tummy she can't say she can't say so while she's not married she's definitely an unloved woman and the earth cannot bear up and that um, a woman that has not been given love especially romantically the earth cannot bear up because there is something that women who don't get love from men especially in a romantic capacity become there is something they become as the years progress earlier on they think they can take it and then time progresses and it becomes clear that they've been uh, scarred permanently and the, the the they end up taking it out then on unfortunate babies they take it out on the children they become horrible mothers and the, the when it is that the onset of this horrible mother ring comes on is when they start to lose their glory when they they stop being as beautiful as they used to be when men are not looking at them all the time anymore when they go to the mall when they are no longer the the object of attention which one did i use gonje when they are no longer the object of attention every single where they go when people are not even when people are not trying to celebrate them anymore all the time because they're being taken over by younger women uh, and men are looking now at, at younger women around they're no longer the the eye turning woman in the room that's when the bitterness sets in and they don't calculate it they don't calculate that that day is going to come when they are unbearable anymore their former glory and they're going to constantly want to raise it and raise it they're going to be like basically like cameron diaz in annie have you seen the the cameron diaz in, in the movie annie the one with jamie fox she is this former glory that used to be beautiful that can't help but abuse orphaned girls it's literally like cameron diaz in the movie annie she can't help but abuse these younger people who still have glory still have and they still have a shot at everything that she lost and when Cameron Diaz was younger, she was a singer, she was revered, she was loved, she was coveted. But now nobody's looking at her. She's just an old lady now. And so she has made Annie and Co sing da na 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 da na 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 Instead of treated, we get tricked. Instead of kisses, we get kicked. It's a hard knock life. Mm. Now she's making babies have hard knock lives, uh, lives, especially girl babies, because they become menacing to other women. They do. They become menacing to other women, especially women who still have glory, or women who um, were loved, or women who are very young. And so, I don't know how many times I've been yelled at in this season by older women that just wanted Ndefela to base, put me in my place when I did not need to be put in my place. And they used my sorrow and my suffering to support themselves along in their affliction of me. Given that I, can't, I couldn't run away, I couldn't do anything for myself. And so they decided they're gonna, you know, find something that is wrong with me. And so yell at me, bang chike, bang raseze. I've been very hurt by older women, very hurt. Because when a woman gets to an elderly age and she has not been loved, doted over, she has not been respected by her husband or a man in a romantic capacity, if she's not seen favor romantically, Hashem, when she gets older and now there is no opportunity to be loved like that again and to be that highly favored by all the guys in the room, uh, she becomes mean. So women, you need to pray to God for love. You really do. You need to pray to God for love so you can be good mothers. Uh, so you won't be horrible grandparents. So you won't be horrible yelling women. You won't be uh, terrible to girls. Uh, Mean-spirited. Like mothers, women are so mean to teenage girls. They're so mean to young girls on the come up in a way that they're not to teenage boys. They love boys. But they will be sweet to the boys in the room. But then they will treat the girls horribly and while everybody in the room is equally innocent and they will wait for one little mistake that this little girl will make one mistake one and she will get a talking to she will be communicated to like she is this irresponsible derelict that can't be trusted that is all over the show that needs to get her act together fix herself even when there is nothing to fix like this girl has not done this girl has not done anything to deserve that mis the mistreatment but she will be uh, spoken to by this older woman like she ain't jack so the only way to m find the kind of love that can protect you from ending up that horrible lady that can't stand teenage girls that can't stand young women that hates 
this like the glory of a woman that's 23 25 27 30 if you don't want to be that girl or that old girl you know that golden girl if you don't want to be that golden girl and if you want if you don't want to give your daughter-in-law grief if you don't want to hate every woman that your son brings home to a point where your son is gonna end up eloping with a woman because there's no one you approve uh so she he goes and marries in jefela without you and then you end up writing into Cora saying that my son married without my permission what can i do to divorce to cause them to divorce type thing if you don't want to end up that lady ask the, ask the lord for a husband that's gonna love you and if he doesn't bring one along like settle yourself in singlehood and the possibility of not having children because god knows what he is doing like you need to trust that the lord knows what he's doing you can't just settle because you're gonna be a menace to girls you're gonna be a menace to children it's not worth it to go and fulfill your desire to be a mother at the expense of that daughter eventually or at that son eventually because you will become a monster to women around your son and so therefore make it rough for your son to love easily or you will be a menace to your daughter and be competitive and my mother is so competitive with me that even though she got con like uh, saddened by the state of my face by the state of my acne even though she got saddened by how she had never even herself seen me with this kind of skin ever and feeling compassionate arranged wanted to arrange for me to go and see a dermatologist she then sat secretly and was like i suga let it ruin her face let her get acne scar scarring let it worsen let the state on the face worsen and with this flu of mine she had listened to me cough like a geriatric foe and just when i'm healing only now she's sending me to a doctor so that is what in the world under heaven happens with a an unloved woman who gets married my mom was an unloved woman who got married uh she got married to a horrible man my dad was a monster my dad was a monster he was mean he was cold spirited he was a cheat he was so many different things and so because my father was what menace that he was my mom was then made into what menace stress she is she is a female version of a menace you understand because a bad man made her that way so the celebrity in the country is one kind of unloved woman that does not get she doesn't get married but the fact that she doesn't get married is the unloved state it is the fact that nobody made an honest woman out of her the other lady when she was on the come up in the early days of her career as a celebrity because both of them have been on the in the media's eye for decades right they've been in the entertainment industry since they were teenagers and they have been with many guys in the entertainment in the entertainment industry as well who went on to marry other women men who did not make honest women out of them so it causes them to think why did abc not marry me why didn't he propose marriage what was wrong that was the that was a strong relationship we lasted very many years and the whole country thought that we were going to get married and then we separated and nothing ever came to pass nothing ever happened and frankly i do believe that both women what happened there was witchcraft um because uh, after certain relationships of theirs in the past these women were no found themselves unlucky in love after that uh, it, it was just downhill from there like guys who you break up with the relationship does not work out and then they decide just like my ex-boyfriend just like with my ex-boyfriend they decide that nobody else is gonna love you so given how sought after both these women were both very smart both looking like the kinds of women that a man would be in a relationship with and just not know what to do with himself the way he's so in love both had that going for themselves and yet both of them never got married uh and both of them had just children under suspicious conditions where don't nobody know where the baby daddy is who the baby daddy is all that matters is that hey it's 2023 and i'm a woman i can do what i want and i'm pregnant and don't nobody need to know who my baby daddy is yeah 2023 has also messed up in the sense that the mother modern woman uh is kind of androgynous she's like a man in that you know she can also just have babies across the show with nobody knowing who their baby daddies are the way that men can have multiple baby mamas and not even know that they're dads of so many kids women are doing that so given that women are trying to be like men and they're trying to fight for similar standing saying women's rights feminism all that jazz has also then caused everybody to be like she doesn't have to tell you who the baby daddy is she doesn't have to give you an answer and even if she doesn't know who the baby daddy is like leave her alone 
It's 2023. This is no longer 1902. That's how people are thinking. And so that also is another reason why they, they got away with that. Why, why they can, they could just have children and not have anybody judge them. And also have children that nobody really knows. Nobody really knows where these kids came from. Uh, like it's just one day she was just heavily pregnant. Next thing she was showing, doing a photo shoot with a son. Baby daddy nowhere to be found. Yeah, these are unloved women. They are unloved women. They are women that men could not step up, did not want to step up, did not want to call, get themselves highlighted as baby daddies. They were not trying to be selfish over, you know, the fact that I am the baby daddy. They were not even trying to come forward. And these are celebrities. Celebrities. I mean, if I was a dad, not that I would know what it would be like to be a man, and I had impregnated one of the most beautiful celebrity women in the country, I would have some issues with the fact that she doesn't want anybody to know who I am. I'd be like, I umtanam. It's my child. I also want to do a photo shoot with my child. And I'm going to say this is my child with this woman. Because it's my child. It is. No man was trying to claim any of these women's babies. No man. That is an unloved woman. That is a woman who is not holding first place in the heart of a man. That is a woman that was whose beauty and glory was disregarded by a man. Altogether. Comprehensively. Just disregarded. And when you're gonna go and disregard so much beauty, when as a woman you're gonna feel like, what in the world? How did I end up here? How did I, who was the most popular girl in school, how when I was the girl that all the guys wanted, how did I end up the baby mama that is hidden? How did I end up the, um, some man's little secret? How did I end up being some man's little secret? Like a prostitute. How did that even happen? How did I fall pregnant and not have a man trying to confess to the whole world that that's my how did that happen when a woman ultimately wakes up to that reality as fast as she allowed herself to fall pregnant because she was broody she's been broody since she was 22 and now that she's 42 there's no way she's going to allow herself to enter into menopause without a child and then quickly has a baby with some dude and however the thing that catches up with her is that thing that is the thing that catches up with her the earth will not be able to bear up the earth will not be able to bear up under her she will be mean to her children ultimately i left this uh for too long i really did this time around yeah and then sorrow will cause a sister to leave some stuff out for too long so now there's like so much matting and it's gonna i'm gonna be all up in this for a minute and it's gonna be annoying to me i might even do it over two days it's so boring anyway whatever cool yeah <clears throat> So uh, the devil will cause women waiting on the Lord to rush, especially the older they get, right? Uh, to, to really want to just quickly seal deals so they can get themselves to a position where they're unloved women that either got married or unloved women, even though they didn't get married, they nonetheless were unloved. Uh, and, and so therefore cause them to become horrible, menacing mothers, horrible, menacing parents. Uh, he will try and get women rushed. And the sad thing about being a woman is that unlike men who can, can literally have babies and so far as they don't get a vasectomy, they can have babies at a hundred. Like the semen just keeps working. They it, like nothing of theirs. There's no biological clock in men. That's what I'm trying to explain to you guys. Other than what you see, I guess outwardly, you see their outward age. But a man can have a baby at 90. A man can have a baby at 105. Like that's just the way that God made them. Whereas with us, there's a biological clock that goes tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. There is a degeneracy or degeneration that happens with our wombs, the integrity of uh, our uh, wombs of our reproductive system is depleted after 35. You have got a geriatric womb from that time. You are therefore considered not as fertile as a woman under 35 and your loss or your loss of fertility also then makes you less attractive to men because inherently by pri by primitive instinct they want a woman that is fertile that they might be able to proliferate their seed. So after 35 you apparently allegedly become less attractive to men uh, because also instinctively due to your impending infertility your worsening state of fertility right yeah mm. so have a baby before 35 if at all you are going to be rational and sober that's what the world has to say if at all you're going to have a baby healthy if you're not going to struggle with, with with fertility if you if you don't want to keep on visiting fertility specialists if you don't want to even be told you can't have a baby uh or don't want to have complications in pregnancy really just before 35 like do that type thing Mm. Well, I mean, we take that advice, we heed it, and so we plan accordingly. 
We plan accordingly as women that I must be married by 35 or if at all uh, I can see that my 35th birthday is impending and there is no prospect for marriage in sight, I'm going to freeze my eggs. I remember when I was working at MTN, there was this one colleague that was busy considering freezing her eggs because she was headed for 35 and still single. And we had the conversation about it and she was like, I'm going to go and freeze my eggs, you know, type thing. And when I asked her, what is the process? Uh, she told me what the process was and the thing that shocked the living daylight out of me was how expensive it was and i remember telling her yo girl i just feel as if though my own body is a nice little fridge i'll keep it i'll keep them in there rather than pay all that money and she also told me that uh you have to keep paying rent to make sure that they keep your eggs preserved and so if you one day lose a job you lose your money then they can even like throw them out they can properly just throw your eggs away because you can't maintain the payments and for me it was like it, it would be the equivalent of like a life insurance policy that you pay a premium on for 10 years and then you make a decision to like cancel that policy um and because it's insurance you don't get the money back even though you never died you never had to claim you never it's just yeah and for me it was like you know what i'll take my chances like i will take my chances i was at that stage maybe like 27 28 so i wasn't really in a rush but she was because she was about 30 uh like four going on 35 and she was seriously considering uh freezing her eggs and that whole freezing eggs thing the whole industry uh, in and of itself is even popular it is famous uh the whole procedure has become regarded as worth a while by many women who are able to afford it precisely because of the apparent danger that we all are in when we get to the age of 35 and we haven't had children because more and more women are marrying later and later and they're having children later and later and they're focusing on their careers now that's an option so cryo uh, facilities are coining it they're cashing in on women setting aside a life insurance policy they might not even have to claim from right um so if however you keep your eggs in this oven of yours uh, that is natural this is natural refrigerator of yours that is preserving these babies whole inside you if you keep them in there there is there are chances they might go rotten they might go off they might not work they might just stop doing what they're supposed to do uh yeah and unfortunately for poor women like me that's not an option i i entered i was 30 i was 29 going on 30 when i was thrown in this situation and so even if i had gone to a point where my friend from from mtn where i was working at got to where i'm like now 34 and i i'm worried about not being able to conceive easily later on uh, I could then have used my very high salary because I was a top earner yeah I could have gone and used my money and decided that I, I'm going to to freeze my eggs because God has has not given me a husband yet and so therefore uh, what if I get married at 37 what if I get married at 39 uh, I, I want my eggs to be healthy then so I would have preserved my eggs I might have actually gone out like that but I was thrown in this situation at 29 going on 30 and I watched my 31st 32nd 33rd 4th 5th 5th yeah birthday come and go with me looking at my biological clock and freaking out because I've been I've wanted babies since I was like 22 I've been broody since before I came to Christ and the only reason I didn't give my ex-boyfriend a child was because he wasn't I wasn't married to him and I, I was not about to go and give a guy that was not my husband a child uh, type thing but I promise you I've wanted a child since I was about 22 23 and so I would definitely have gone the cryo route I would have gone that route if I was not married by 35 uh, type establishment thing but you know I didn't have money I was broke I was poor by the time I reached 35 and all I had to lean on for a cryo preservation uh, machine uh, was my body I had to lean on the Holy Spirit I had to look at no one but Jesus I could do nothing but say but God I'm 35 yo God I'm 36 yo God I'm 37 yo I'm 38 yo I'm 39 <laughs> All I could do was be like, I guess I'm the fridge. Like, I can I be the fridge? Can I be the fridge? Can the Holy Spirit be the fridge? Can heaven be the fridge? Can some other supernatural activity keep my womb looking like that of a 23-year-old? How in the world am I still single at 39 with no prospect in sight for a husband when I so desperately wanted to be a mother? more even than i wanted to be a wife like it was that intense like i promise you if i did not get born again if i didn't get saved in the lord jesus christ 
and I got to a certain age without a child, I would have made the same mistake that these celebrities made. Where I would have just found some HIV negative men, men out in these streets, both of us test if he's prepared to do it good and allowed him to be my baby daddy or even gone to a sperm bank. I would have done that. If, if I did not get convicted of sexual sin, fornication and sex before marriage being wrong, if I never got saved, it would not have, I would not have had qualms with having a baby just cause I'm 36. With just anything here in these streets, with anyone that is prepared to donate their manhood to me. I properly would have just like, it would have been a business transaction. I promise you, it would have been a business transaction because I've wanted children that badly. I've wanted children more even than I wanted marriage. But I knew in Christ, there's no rubbish of that nature. You you don't just get in Jefela to go on having children without, a, without being married. Uh, and the Lord created the patriarchy to be head over households and it is the best environment for a child to grow in. And it is therefore selfish for a woman to just go in Jefela and get a... A baby without a man around De deliberately I understand there are widows who lose husbands and stuff like that but as a Christian woman it is irresponsible to disregard the God's plan for the patriarchy God's plan for fatherhood and what he's doing in society through men in marriages right you gotta trust it even though in and of yourself you don't trust men you don't you you grew up a typical black kid with absent dads and all that jazz whether or not you've got bones to pick the men that you have seen growing up is irrelevant because christ knows how to restore how to fix how to yeah you gotta respect what god did with family you gotta respect that so because of the fact that you gotta respect and i know that that's a thing what god did with family I was rescued from the grain, from the typicality of black women. I was rescued from that grain of, hi, hey, I'm not 36, I'm not 35, so I'm just going to go and have a child. And so we've got this like epidemic with um, single parent households, uh, single mom households, dad barely there, nobody's paying maintenance and all that jazz. I was rescued from that grain. I would have inevitably, inevitably followed in it if I did not get married on time. Like given the way that my ex-boyfriend had so held me hostage with sorcery, um... I, I would have struggled to be loved. I would have struggled to enter into a marriage. And so I would have just gone and had a baby. I would have gone and fallen pregnant, walked around in these streets, waddling around like a little ducky uh, for nine months, had a baby and just felt satisfied with the fact that at least I am not going to be a childless woman. So my desires were put aside because desire, sin, nobody, God does not tempt anybody. But we, upon having desires, uh, you know, go on right ahead to sin and then sin when it is a, a brood of bring, uh, sorry, desire when it is brood, grown, brings about sin and sin when it's fully grown, brings about death. So I would have just gone on right ahead to fornicate with just anybody after doing an HIV test and making sure that everything is okay and then uh, dealt with child maintenance later dealt with whatever i would have given my next boyfriend after my ex-boyfriend uh because while i was uh, pedantic about being married before i would have a child i got to be pedantic at the age of 22 and 23 but as the years were progressing if i was now going to be just dating a guy at, at 32 if i was just going to be somebody's girlfriend at 33 i would have given my boyfriend a baby i would have done it at 33 i would have done it that which i would have had qualms with doing at 30 at 23 i would not have had similar qualms at 33 so i would have had a baby out of wedlock because my ex-boyfriend would have made sure that i keep on dating random and because of not having the holy spirit and protection by god it would have happened i would have fallen for the spells i would have fallen for giving a man a baby out of wedlock even though i was disquieted with the fact that why aren't you marrying me why do you want a baby blah blah all that jazz you get my point i actually have a friend no longer a friend because they become witches afterwards that's the thing i'm trying to talk about who also had convictions that she doesn't want to have a child before wedlock but her boyfriend convinced her and he never married her he never married her he never married her no the guy had enough money he was wealthy enough to take out ilobola and yet he was insisting that this friend of mine first give him a child and this guy already had a child with another woman uh so basically he was the kind of guy to just plant a seed and move on my friend had that evidence already walking at her and she still capitulated she still gave him uh you know these issues the devil is what it is is what it is he who is trying to achieve this in the lives of women um especially if it is a cultural issue and with us black people it is he will proliferate that culture that generational curse and you will inevitably end up that which you hoped never to be a baby mama uh maybe even with baby mama drama 
perhaps you might be blessed enough to have a baby daddy that is responsible taking care of the child but definitely not loved definitely not married you are not the wife and because you are not the wife you will be embittered you will wonder about the woman that he does marry why did he choose to marry her and yet leave me as a baby mama what was it with me you will have insecurities you will feel uneasy with your own state you will wonder can say what did i do what, what did i do to make my baby daddy not decide to make an honest woman out of me you will it, it, what is this um obsess over the woman that he does marry wondering king what is it about her that I, what that i did not have what's missing in me that she has because he married her even before having a child with her that hypocrisy that that's what black men sometimes do to black women they will in uh, what is this um coerce a woman to have his child promising her all different kinds of tall things and she will give him a child and then he will not marry her however take care of the child and then go on right ahead and marry another black woman right without insisting that that next woman give him a child first without insisting and so you will wonder why does she get to fall pregnant inside wedlock why does she get to walk down the aisle and i didn't so they they, they, they it's created them this like bitterness in the ex-girlfriend against this man's current wife uh and so they don't get along and now you have to be in the presence of that woman you have to be in her presence because it's her it's his baby mama and you know he can't ditch his child otherwise why would you want to be with a man who's not taking care of his kids it leaves a lot to be desired it, it leaves his character it makes his character one that leaves to be a lot to be desired and not trustworthy therefore to be a husband if he can't take care of his own children so you have to exp uh, ex uh, take in your stride baby mama drama as the, the the new wife which is why i don't want a man with kids I don't want a man that has got baby mamas. I don't like I've asked that like I asked the Lord so very for so many very many things. And among the things that I asked him for was the fact that I don't want a man that has kids because you don't even know why in the world under heaven he didn't marry his baby mama or his baby mamas. You don't know what went on there. Did did he manipulate them until they gave them a baby? Did he make that woman bitter? Did he cause her to be a hell health no fury like a woman scorned type woman? Is she so upset and irritated and agitated and giving me attitude as his wife precisely because of what he did to her and wondering about me what's so special? Why did he marry me uh, without and uh, all the children that were that are born to us in the marriage? Why they were all born inside the marriage? Whereas Yena, she wanted to have children in a marriage she wanted him to marry her first but then he insisted give me a baby and then next thing things did not work out and then he claims that no they started to fight no it's she's not who i liked uh, i wanted or no we're not so compatible no yeah they start they give you all different kinds of reasons as to why it did not work out but they, you don't know what what actually trail of cadavers he left behind with these other women you you don't actually know what truly happened uh, but this beef that has been created between women is there it's done it's permanent it is sealed there is nothing you can do because now all the women are fighting and the reason they're fighting is because one man was a hypocrite and acted differently to one woman while mistreating two hour two others or one other woman and that's why this other woman makes it hard for your children to have a relationship seeing as they're indeed siblings with the older brother uh, they are it is the child of your husband so therefore sibling of your kids and yet the relationships are not being fostered because of the fact that there's so much beef between mom and everybody and so like women that also end up bad mouthing the the wife they they bad mouth the, the woman to the kid making it such that the kid now resents dad and dad's wife and dad's kids it, not realizing that in and of himself he's dad's kid so these are your brothers and sisters like i i just the, the complexities of that i can't deal and uh, because of how selfish especially black men are um because of how incredibly selfish they can be i don't trust what it is that they have to say when they've got kids with other women especially if the baby mama is this upset woman if the baby mama is just this angry woman that no not next part come on man especially if the baby mama is this um like always angry lady you never really know why she's always so angry you never know and the context might make you understand it might have make you have compassion it might make you get it and it might also make you look at this guy like oh body you are nonsense but you're out here thinking this is my man and this woman is just bitter because he chose me but you don't understand the roots so nah for me it's like yeah no that's the reason why i feel grateful to have been saved in christ 
due to the fact that absent of salvation I would never have had these pearls of wisdom learn them the important thing is to trust the Lord because when you trust the Lord he gives you love and when you have love you're dealing with a responsible man and when you're dealing with a responsible man you highly likely are also dealing now unlikely dealing now also with baby mama drama because he was able to avoid it I give out the pain of another woman mistreating my children or me being the woman that is bitter because why did you marry her or me being some woman that decided to have a child real quick with a guy because I was like 39 and then find myself so embittered that I now am mean to my daughter later on.